Hey guys, what's up? Today I've got a really, really interesting person that I want to bring onto my channel. Um, this is Chris Liam. He's an eight-figure dropshipper and you know he's basically been there, done that. He's grown a store to over eight figures. He's you know hired out you know a massive team of you know over ten people. And he's basically you know one of the basically kings in dropshipping. And I really wanted to bring him onto the channel and just sort of get him to tell everyone about his experience. You know, maybe even reveal a golden nugget or two. But yeah, I guess Chris, um, introduce yourself and you know tell everyone you know about who you are, what you're doing, and maybe a bit about your dropshipping experience. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Lim. So um, I started off. Uh, so my first encounter with e-commerce, actually, I used to be, I used to be a sort of a finance student. So I, all, all, all sort of all my student life, I wanted to have a bank job and things like that. So, but um, I, 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 I had average grades. I couldn't get to my dream dream job of having going to the bank. So I, I was pretty like, much like jobless for a few months until I one day I found a, an internship with Lazada. So um, for Lazada is like the Amazon of Southeast Asia. So they, they are sort of like a startup in Singapore with, when, I, when I joined them. So um, that was my first encounter with e-commerce. So after that, um, after a few months, I, I did happen to get a, get a... So that few months with Lazada was really, really nice. I really learned a lot, exciting. And, and after a few months, I found a, I, I, I found a bank job. So I went over, I switched over. But within a few weeks, I realized that it's, it's not really for me. You know, when I look at the future career path, I wanted something that could give me more freedom and things like that. So um, after that, I went out to do my own business. I started my own e-commerce business. So I, at, at a, when I first started, I didn't really know the concept of drop shipping. So I was like holding stock for my own products, selling. And after, after a few months of trying, I was like kind of reaching bankruptcy, you know, without selling I made some sales, but using Shopify, but that, that was about it. Yeah. So at that, I think it's always like when you were, when you were going into bankruptcy, then you reach a level of highest desperation where you sort of like just go out and try different things. And that's where I got into Teespring selling t-shirts. So Teespring is the, like the start of where I really learned a little bit of dropshipping because I didn't have to handle fulfillment and things like that. Like previously I had to, so previously I learned the, the flow of e-commerce. Then after that, I just went to focus on to like Facebook marketing and finding products and things like that. So Got that's it. how I started. So is yeah. Teespring like print on demand? Yeah, Teespring is basically print on demand. So you just have to come up with basically research on winning designs, then do your own designs, put it on t-shirt and yeah. 